So every year, I think uh, I post something on Facebook about uh, on match day or a couple days after. You know, congrats to everyone that matched. But I also do try to acknowledge all of those who didn't. And I say that because um, I was one of those that didn't match uh, to a PGY1. I'm very fortunate that I did find a residency in the scramble. If you're kind of interested in hearing about my story, you can certainly uh, post a link somewhere up here uh, to that. But this video is more so to those individuals that didn't match and just a couple of comments that I have for that. But before I do that, I do want to say to everyone out there that did match, um, you know, Congrats! It's a major milestone. It's a major achievement. It's like a summary of you know your entire pharmacy career. You know many of you guys have been preparing for this um, since day one, doing research projects, internships, uh, difficult rotations, working hard to get your GPA um, as close to a four as possible, if not at a four. So you know, congrats! It's it's. It's amazing achievement, uh, and you know, to, to those who, who didn't, uh, th there's like kind of three things that I want to you know, just briefly touch on. And th the first thing is, um, don't let the experience define you. You know, it's not a measure of your skills, um, who you are, your abilities. It might feel that way, it's harder said than done. I mean, personally, you know, um, I felt like I was great on paper, uh, applied to big name programs, got a couple interviews, and you know, it hit, hit me like a truck when I didn't match into any of them. So I understand what you're going through, and it's a difficult time, but you know, don't let it define you, and a lot of it is a numbers kind of thing. There's not enough positions out there to even give a spot to every single candidate that applied. That's the truth of the matter. Um, and surprisingly, you know, it, it's not talked about a lot. You know, a lot of people don't, at least not that I see, they don't talk about, you know, no, I didn't match. I didn't, I had to scramble or things like that. Uh, you usually hear the good stories. You know, that's what you see on social media. You see everyone post where they match and things like that. You don't commonly or ever see people say, Hey, <laughs> I didn't match, you know, things like that. So I, I think it's important to talk about because, you know, out of everyone that attempts to go down the residency route, uh, there's a significant portion of those who don't match. You know, you think about the statistics, it's, I, I've seen it fluctuate, not that I've, I'm that old, uh, but uh, I've seen it fluctuate between 60 and 70% each year. And on average, it's, it's been about 66 or so percent. The number of candidates uh, that amounts to is between 1,500 to 1,700 individuals. That's a lot of people. Like, that's a lot of people that are you know, finding themselves in this position where they have to scramble. Or not, you know, completely up to you guys. But it's, it's a lot of people, individuals and I think it's important to talk about. So, you know, when, you, when you're in that position where you, you're you in the scramble, uh, where you find yourself uh, not having matched into a position, it feels kind of alone. You know, no one's really talking about it. You don't see people post about it. So it's, it's certainly very lonely. And I think it's important to, you know, address those kind of things and speak on the topic. With that said, that's, I think that's the first thing. It's just don't let the experience Kind of define you, you know. The second thing is like think about your long-term goals, your your end goals, and, and what those might be. Maybe a clinical pharmacy specialist in the ED, critical care pharmacist, um, cardiology pharmacist, uh, drug information pharmacist, um, you know, staff pharmacist, pharmacy director, a dean of a college, something like that. Those are what I would think about as end goals. You know, keep that in mind because, you know, personally for me, I always like to think about the end goal and then 
the decisions I make should, you know, always get me closer to those goals. Residency per se, I wouldn't consider that an end goal. You know, now you don't hear people say, uh, my goal when I get older is to be a pharmacy resident. No, that's not the case. That's, that's torture. That's not the case. So I, I, I view that more as a stepping stone and if anything, a optional kind of stepping stone. And so, you know, we have this point A where you are now and then a point B and, you know, it's, it's, you know, point A and point B, you know, it's, it's cl so cliche to say, but it's so true. It's not a linear path. It's kind of like a roller coaster. You know, it's just peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. And, you know, there's multiple ways around it. You know, you hit a snag in the road, did a match, you take a different path. And it's as simple as that. Eventually, you know, you end up reaching that end goal. You know, whether it's a clinical staff pharmacist, a clinical specialist, pharmacy director, you're getting there. You don't need a residency to do it. Um, so I think that's the way I like to view it. And the third kind of thing is use the experience, you know, of, of not matching and use it as a way of motivate yourself, you know, to work harder toward that next goal, whether it is uh, participating in the scramble, if that's something you choose to do, or not. You know, a lot of friends that I knew that found themselves in the scramble actually didn't participate. You know, you know, I think throughout the process, they're like, I didn't, I realized, hey, you know what? It's not for me. I don't want to do it. I don't really care for it anymore. And they went up and got jobs and they're extremely happy. And, you know, they look back and they don't regret anything about it at all. Perfectly fine. Two different pathways. But whatever the pathway you choose, put... 110% into it. Um, maybe not tonight. Maybe put 110% into like a nice dinner or something tonight. But you know, tomorrow, just put in that work. You know, use it to motivate you to uh, work harder, to do stuff. And there's time. There's a lot of time. It's not like before where it was like a paper process and it was just hectic phone calls and emails. Maybe a little bit of that still, but not as much as before. Uh, but there's time to you know research programs search the programs, um, apply to them, submit your rank list for phase two. And you know what? Our friends at ASHP actually have a lot of resources uh, on you know looking for programs in phase two, um, some tips and advice to offer during phase two, um, just general things like that. And make it magically appear somewhere in here, maybe over here, uh, but you know, check them out. Um, hopefully that you'll find uh, more at ease. You know, just a lot of it, a lot of fear comes when it's just about the unknown. So, you know, check out the resources, see if they're helpful. But um, that's my kind of like sidetracked a little bit. The third kind of point is use the experience to kind of motivate yourself. Uh, toward whichever path you choose, whether it's scramble, go for it. If it's not scramble, looking for a job, go for it. But uh, alright guys, I will kind of wrap this video up. Uh, I'm gonna be gone, which is why I'm trying to record as many videos as I can. I'll actually be going to Zions National Park this, uh, what is it, tomorrow? No, two days. Two days from now. be gone for a couple of days. Uh, I'm gonna do Angel's Landing. I'm very afraid of heights, so Send you guys some video footage of that when I get back. But um, another sidetracked. Anyways, uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. You guys are not alone. And I hope, you know, for those of you guys who matched, uh, I hope you encourage your, your colleagues who didn't, you know, give them words of encouragement. It's a rough, rough patch to go through. Um, and you know, to those who are in that, that will be in the scramble and things, or uh, or just didn't match in general, you guys got it. I believe in you, and you know, make sure you believe in yourself. Anyways, this went way longer than expected. I need to start packing for my trip. I wish you guys the best of luck in whatever you guys do. And to those who you know did match. Uh, Best of luck to you guys as you begin the next step in a residency, whether it be a PGY-1 or a PGY-2. 
fun times. All right, guys, until next time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the content, definitely hit the Impro RX button over to your left to subscribe and definitely check out more videos over here uh, to your right. Now, as always, if you have questions, comments, and even better, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, guys.